They, uh, they beat their chest. And yeah, and here we go. Sniglor Fandarian. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't I stop you from talking? You can't. I say things. Okay, but where's he in Lucina? <laughs> Mandarian. Uh, kind of a interesting. Um, I feel like Swords do really well against Game Watch, and this is his secondary he's been working on. Like he's he tweets about it all the time. He's like, uh, do I go Hero? Do I go Lucina for my secondary? And why not a better situation than now? I don't think he really necessarily cares about how I, I kind of think that um, Pandarian wants to play the range game against Snickler. He yeah. doesn't want Snickler to be able to get in and uh, use these, you know, use Nair or be able to juggle him. He yeah. wants to keep him at bay with a, with a disjoint. Yeah. And so uh, that's, I think, is a good strategy here. I don't know. Uh, I feel like you can break bombs super easily with Lucina. Just some nice... I'm going for another counter. Uh, He's just kind of walking into these, but I feel like just... Okay. Whoa! What? Uh, stage spike. Up he carried him with him. Huh. I thought that was... Snickledorf getting hit by that, but... Yep. Oh, yeah. Okay. Snickledorf winning this is a... Uh, would be... It, it would set a lot of great momentum into this set. It would. And then if, if he does win this, I'm, I guarantee we see a Pandarian swap to Pokemon Trainer. But even then, get, Snick will be a game up in the series. Yeah. But, I mean, just... That is if he wins this. Good tech. Hitting the dice. Oh dying goodness. for that. And this game is pretty handily in Snickerdorf's favor at this oh, point. Oh, reverse. But he's oh, going to die because of the just, you know, poor DI. On I don't that. Well, it was a reverse, so I think it was a bit hard to understand where you were going to get sent. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, we also got to think these guys did play earlier in the tournament, and uh, maybe we see this swap to Lucina for like a good reason. Like, maybe PT just absolutely wasn't working out. Yeah. Because, let's be honest, Chris is playing really well. His punish game, his ledge trapping, his... Okay, ledge trapping, yep. his game watches... It's a bit easy, but I mean, like, he's still doing such a great job. No, Snickerdorf has played phenomenally tonight. Um, you know, he's beaten Konga, he's beaten Pandarian, he's beaten all these good players, and he's here in Winterside Grand Finals. Um, and he's, you know, taken a commanding lead over Pandarian and looking to get to this game, too. Yeah. Keeping him in the air, uh, making sure not to overextend and not to really, and being careful, getting chair. the chair, and that'll take game one. Like, I don't know. Snix playing really well. Uh, winning neutral, very, like, a lot of the times. Uh, okay. Um, I don't know. He's doing a great job of edge guarding. Um, he's doing a great. Pokemon I don't know. It's it's um. I think it's some good stuff from both plays. Yep. Three, two, one, <laughs> but back to PS2. All right. Prayers up in the chat for Snickledorf for Pandarian. Uh, if you're rooting for one of these players, press your hands together and pray. Okay. Um, <laughs> Game and Watch. Nope, not a lot of people like this character. PT, not a lot of people like playing against this character either. No. I think both are interesting. I think... Uh, do I like playing against either? No, not really. Are they fun? They're, like, they're kind of interesting to watch, though, because they're so interesting. Like, they, they operate very differently than a lot of characters in this game. They do. They do. Um, uh, game & Watch kind of breaks the rules of the game. He's able, he's able to up out of a lot. Um, he's able to, you know, get these combos. Like, he can recover so well. He can he's able to bury so well. and that'll kill. Like, yeah. He can take advantage of so many different things. Like, he's got a good disadvantage. He's got a good advantage. He can do neutral, like, decently. Yeah. But then, yeah. Ledge trapping with down smash and bacon. And then he can edge guard with up B and there, and it's just like he's got so much tools in his kit to just really capitalize on so many different aspects of this game. He does. He absolutely does. Nice downer. Nice down smash off the ledge, getting Pandaren into a bad position. This has kind of been the story of this uh, season up here in Washington. Yep. Uh, Snickerdorf having Pandarian's number and knowing what to do against him. Yep. Uh, Pandarian, you know, no, a really great player in his own right, but Snickerdorf just being kind of his demon this Ooh, season. Catches that rule. 
Yeah. That thing can't. I, if you space that right, Ivysaur F Smash catches everything like except for jump, and even then it can still catch jump, but you have to expect it. But it's like it's definitely harder and it's easier to cover the other options. Yeah. He's not gonna die from that. Uh, he he knew where he was. Yeah. <coughs> It's going to be a precarious position for Snickendorf. Because as we've seen uh, with Mega Man and uh, Cygnus, you know, one Flare Blitz at this percent can do it. And Snickendorf can throw out a lot of moves, but he's just going to do drop down fair. That's a strong move. That is a strong move. A lot of rage on Charizard, too. I mean, it's scary. And Pandarian, the Meister Slayer, is taking it to Snickendorf. I want to see the Toon Link. I want to see what he really beat Meister with on this one. I want to see Pandarian Toon Link. Give it to me! He starts with Ivy this time. Mm, that's, what I say, that's what I say to like people off Tinder. All right, well, going into game three. So we started with um, Ivy this time. <laughs> <laughs> no squirting. Is that what they also say to you on Twitter, Twitter Tinder? <laughs> um, okay. All right, so going to game three. That was dumb. That was amazing. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, so. Um, oh, boy. Okay, um, Sigildorf taking that first game was, was pretty important. You know, it, it worked out. But uh, Pandarian, he's really taken, like, control of these two games so far. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, oh my Lord. I'm very interested to see why Good timing took Pandarian to Battlefield. Hey. I felt like he was doing well on Pokemon Stadium. Yeah. And I feel like he would have uh, benefited for, benefited from, you know, a flatter stage uh, to give uh, Pokemon Trainer less opportunities to land. Yeah. But now here we are on the stage with platforms, and he's kind of getting grilled for it. I don't really know what to, like, Pandaria's just kind of having his way with Snickerdorf right now. Yeah. Like, absolutely just getting, like, damage. He's getting stage position. He's just having. I mean, you kind of see Snickler trying to do in standard Game & Watch things. Down airing, Nair. Uh, but you see Pandarian just having such a larger advantage right now. Yeah, like, he kind of just knows what to expect. Mm -hmm. And, like, I, I mean, Ivy does have, like, the tools to deal with it. Like, uh, he's got, Ivy's got a bit of range. Good, like, a decent projectile. That thing is good in certain matchups. Yeah. Snick at kill percent. Pandarian gonna die from that bomb, but Snick at a very precarious percent. Pandarian just waiting. <laughs> that Nair actually landed. Hit. Yeah. Dash attack. Oh, he was looking for the roll in. A little too early on the trigger, a little too hasty. Shout out to Hasty. I love Hasty. They try to scout. Oh my goodness, he's dead. He SD'd from that, SD'ing offstage, buffering that. That and is taking That is a rough, but Pandarian's going to even it up very quickly. Yeah. But he loses the lead that he had this entire game. That's, yeah. That could be a costly SD for him, Kyle. Thank you, Scott. Uh, I was going to say, that SD might take the wind out of sails, but he's already shown that, like, it doesn't matter. He starts getting his combos going. But but you know how this goes. Uh, Ivysaur disadvantage is very bad, and and uh, Game & Watch advantage is very good. So we could really see the percents even up here if Snickler is able to win neutral. But right now, Pandarian yep. keeping him at the ledge. Yeah, Pandarian getting this damage. He's really getting it going. Snickler has so much to watch out for right now. And I think he has to play that, like, maybe that a bit. kind of pseudo air dodge. Really helping out Pandarian get out of disadvantage there. And this. Oh, wow! wow. I, I think Snickledorf, even at this percent in like situations like this, he does a great job of like not playing scared. Like he keeps playing. Yeah. Like with the same way he always does. He just keeps looking for openings and he keeps going for it. If it costs him the yeah, stock, he costs him yeah. the stock. He did not snap to the ledge there, and that's going to cost him. Uh, Pandarian going up two games to one. Um, yeah, great recognition for Pandarian. This is just such a great set, man. I can't believe it. Instead of setting up to ledge trap, he just he just recognized. I think Snick uh, felt like he was going to snap to ledge there and wanted to get a ledge option, but he didn't. He passed he passed by, and uh, Panarin was able to capitalize and up air him. How much pollen does Ivysaur's plant have? Pollen? What do you what do you call that down air up air? Is that not pollen? I would definitely call that pollen. Seed juice. But I don't, no I don't, pollen. I don't like to think about bees. Why doesn't it have PP? Why can't you can only use that move 20 times? That would be a very interesting mechanic that I think Sakurai would implement in DLC. 
and I think that would be very interesting to see how it played out. See, why don't we all Pokemon play like Pokemon? High key? Yeah. I don't want I don't want Blake to flutter blitz against me 20 times. I want their specials and their other moves to have restrictions. Yeah. Oh my god. Pandarian trying to read the life out of Snickler right there. Uh, Snickler getting Pandarian into disadvantage and nearing him a few times, but uh, Pandarian still with a significant advantage, getting down air to wait, to wait for the air dodge, knocking him off the ledge, and here is Snickler in a very bad position. Able to get back on the stage, jabbing him out of the quarter. Yeah. I know Game Watch isn't a Pokemon, but he only gets to use Nair 20 times, too. <laughs> Nair, down air, and everything else. Again, the pseudo air dodge. Snigglerf has to do a better pseudo job. If he's, gonna, if he's gonna want to pull this back, he has to do a better job of catching on uh, as to when Pandarian is gonna switch. Because yeah. that has eaten his combos a little bit and has taken him out of uh, an advantage state yep. that he's had. Ooh, that was, okay, that was very, oh my god, that was so that smart. That was so smart. That was the smartest thing. It just barely didn't kill, but that was such a nice play. <laughs> <laughs> why, you know, why not? Why not? Why not try for it? If it connects, if it connects, it connects. Gets that jab, that's so much damage. <laughs> yeah. Yo. Oh. Trade. Sometimes you just love to see it. Game Watch will take a, tr a trade with Fair every day. And you know we're dead even now. <laughs> this game is so even. Okay, never mind. Not even. Really fishing for that. That's yeah. one thing you could say about Pandaria Type A. He does love to fish a little a little too much, I think. Yeah. It, you know, if he were a Minecraft villager, he'd definitely be a fisherman. That would be a, He'd be assigned to that barrel block, and he'd be selling you uh, emeralds in exchange for coal and raw that salmon. Is. That back throw is going to be taken at that time around. Yeah, yeah. Um, I wouldn't say he's that much of a fisher, but you know, I think I think he's smart about his options. But I think sometimes he gets a little antsy and likes to, you know, maybe go for pivot grab a bit too much. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's kind of the next thing Pandaren has to add into his gameplay to really break through this next level. Um, Pandare or er, uh, Pandaren in disadvantage. Snickdorf kind of pressing his yep. his options a little bit, going to oh. knock him off with that back air, and. Uh, Gonna recover, thankfully, with Charizard. But yeah, Sigler kind of had it there. Um, Could have edge guarded a little better, but he's gonna be careful dealing with that flip. It's like it turns out with rage, it's not gonna kill. But man, that's a lot of damage. Like, you don't want to get hit by that. Like at, at that percentage, Charizard, you kind of play that stock like you have nothing to lose. Yeah, like, uh, you just thing, try and get damage. You do it anyway. Well, the thing with Charizard is that that side B makes it so hard for you know to keep track of where uh, Charizard is going to be. You yep. can be set up on stage for an edge guard, and then all of a sudden Charizard can up to uh, side B over you, and that might do it. No, not quite. Oh. But the next one definitely will. Catches with the razor leaf. Oh, terrifying. Oh! That hit through that. Oh, my god. Hard stage. Oh. OK. <laughs> Baiting out the, that F tilt. It kind of sticks him in the, the stun from, like, he's going to move for so much longer. Now see, that's like kind of the issue with Game Watch Bomb. Like, while it covers a lot of space and does so much damage. Oh, oh my god, I'm so tense. Oh, tense. I'm tense. You know, I have I have blood pressure problems, man. I'm gonna have a heart attack. My arms hurt. Yeah. Bomb can just be destroyed. Oh, okay. Down good read on that roll. Absolutely not taking it. But I mean, oh. I think Eric is fine, or Pandaria is fine with getting grabbed right no, now because that's gonna be the kill. Yeah. Yeah. No. Against Game Watch. I uh, barely missed that platform actually. That like maybe, maybe he would have been able to do that, but I don't. I just don't think there was any way. But with that, we're going to grand reset, and we're getting Dewey playing Dragon Quest XI. Let's go, Dewey. Let's go, Dewey. I love Dewey. I gotta tell you, man, I miss Dewey. Why you don't don't put both as losers? Just put both as just. Blank. They're both in losers. Just put it as blank then. No. Make it Thug Finals. What? No. What? Okay. Here, I'll go. No. True finals. Do true finals. Grander finals. True finals. Grandest finals. The big finals. Mr. Big Final. Mr. Big Finals? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Now, let's see. Okay. 
Pandarian starts off with a dash attack. <laughs> I mean, is that, an that just looks wrong. Uh, I got a, I got a Snapchat. Thanks for letting people know about that. That really didn't sweet spot. That's quite um, interesting. But good showing so far. Good showing. <laughs> Call this parasite in theaters now because it's an absolute pleasure to watch. All right, I'm back. Had our Sondra Snapchat, but here we are. Oh, that mayor lands with that and gets gets that kill from like right below that platform. I'm just kind of surprised. I mean, I guess I should never really be surprised when Game Watch kind of dies unexpectedly. Yeah, Game Watch very like character. <laughs> Game Watch, very light character, gonna die to a lot of things. He's a paperweight. He is a paperweight. I, I'm not sure of how the ranking, in terms of like weights go. I'm pretty sure it goes game. like Puff, Pichu. Pichu. No, it goes Pichu first. Oh really? Damn. Damn. No, Pichu's the lightest character in the game. I'm like 90% okay. sure. Uh, and if someone else is here to say, uh, technically Shulk and Smash Art is lighter than Pichu. Yeah. But also, I don't want to hit Shulk or be close to Shulk when he can smash hard. I don't want to touch Shulk. I don't he want just, Shulk. He just gives off creepy vibes. You see that one end screen where he just kind of like stares blankly? Is Shulk Terrifying. ally? Okay. okay, we're gonna bring it back here to the game. You should um. really just stop. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely even stocks from both these players. It's gonna be fun. Bury him and he's gonna kill off of that, that Barry. That barrier to F smash doing so much percentage and so much knockback whenever um, that connects. Ooh, Fly's not taking it just yet. But that tipper F tilt gonna do it. Uh, we got one stock to one stock in dead ass finals of Orbitar 85. Yep. Even games here so far though. Uh, I don't know. Like all these stocks have been so even. Like both of them are just kind of taking like turns. Yeah. Like. I don't know. It, this could go either way, and I'm not really sure. They're kind of dancing around each other, trying to get the... Uh, we got a guy in the stream cam fixing his hair. Yep. Oh, boy. I don't know what my co-commentator is doing anymore. Got other priorities besides watching this player. Hey, man. Snickledor takes the Woo! game. Was that an up smash? It was an up smash. That was an up smash. I, I, was I, I wish it still had the, the little, the little like, submarine man helmet. It does. It does? It does. The scuba helmet? Am I just... Submarine scuba. man helmet. I'm bad at words. You are not a good worder. Scuba helmet. You're a good speller. You're not a good worder. Pokemon Thanks, bro. Look at my jawline. What does this look like? It looks like the game's starting. Oh, the game is starting. All right, here we go. <laughs> but Snickledorf takes that first game. The true legend of Washington. Snickledorf is the, absolutely the best player to ever exist. You know, um, Snickledorf kind of a... Uh, Snickledorf is a god amongst men, and I don't think anybody should dare go, a pen to go against him. I, th you know, I just The reason Snick we're at this point in bracket it's because Snickledorf let his opponents win. He wants to make it fun. He doesn't care. Bro, I just think Snickledorf is just so nice that he just, you know, sometimes... He's he just, a generous guy. You, you just talk to him, and he's just like, yeah, I'm so happy, dude. I'm just so happy to be alive. I'm so happy you're here. Yeah. Um, he sounds like... He sounds like someone who, like, did drugs in the 70s, and they're just, like, constantly happy. It's just that hearty laugh. It just... It brightens your day. <laughs> That was such a bad impression, but hey, <laughs> you know what? 150, 160 percent. He's like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Like we kind of saw this. Like it, it's definitely flipped because in like the last set we saw Pandarian starting getting like a good idea of what Sick was doing, but now it seems like yeah. Sick's just kind of really adapted really well, and Pandarian's not picking up just in time. And you're seeing Pandarian hold on to Charizard, not wanting to go to a character that has a lower weight, but that back air tipper is gonna do that stock. He absolutely robbed him. Like, he just got raw. Wow. Yeah. But hey, he, you gotta feel bad for Snickledorf there because he had that oh, he insane had such a stock lead. lead, and then Pandarian's able to take it back. But this guy, he's answering back really well right now. Getting so much damage, keeping himself in advantage. 
Uh, but hey, takes one down throw, or up throw, I think that was actually my bad. Uh, and then uh, gets a couple of up airs, and you know, you could die. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that downer, that aggressive landing option, uh, kind of screwing up uh, Snickler's chase. Uh, what just happened with that bomb situation? Ooh, Razor Leaf was actually able to destroy Bomb. Oh, that was a great conversion. Two Razor Leafs into back air. That was, you know, I love seeing that because I feel like that's a very creative option. Oh, it catches oh. his jump with an up air. I think he caught on to how Snickle reflects to down air he out of disadvantage. He does have the my helmet. I'm just blind. He, he likes to, Snickle reflects to down air out of disadvantage and Pandaria has now caught up with that. Yep. And uh, is now punishing that appropriately. We'll see if he continues to do that and we'll see if Snickle makes any changes to try and get around that. Stop using that word. Stop it. Okay, Snickledorf has to answer with another stock right now. Oh! Oh! Pandarian okay. almost got that dare there, but hey. Just giving up that stock. No, uh, he's, he's, no, he stage spiked him and he was not able to make it back. Oh. You were too busy typing I was too busy word. typing foggers. <laughs> <laughs> I could be a great commentator. I think you need to. I'm good when I'm like, I'm like buzzed. You you are buzzed. Yes. And you've made several unsavory comments. No, it's it's my style. It's my personality. It's very. It's my trademark. But. <gasps> oh my god. Good mash. Pandarian's mash is absolutely. Insane. I I think. I think Snickelorf held that a little too long. I think he just yeah. should have let it rip and not try to secure the kill. Because I think then he would have sent Pandaren into the, into you know, disadvantage offstage and would have been able to maybe secure yeah, like, something. But I think he tried to charge it a little too long, got a little greedy for that kill. And now we're going to game three on Pokemon Stadium 2, tied up one to one. Yeah, he held that up smash for just a bit, a bit long, but other than that. He definitely held it. He was looking for, you know, yeah. hoping it could kill. My brother, I am now employed. This is the like worst time to announce that you're employed. We're in game three of I know, I'm just happy. Finals. I'm just happy. I have money now. Wow. <laughs> that must be nice. Yeah. So what are you paying me? <laughs> <laughs> not enough. You don't pay me. So not enough. But. Besides child labor laws, let's get back into the <laughs> Yes, let's go back. <laughs> I'm sorry. When did you add that, Marcus? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, do exclamation point Minecraft. No. Yeah. Is your Minecraft server even up to, up to date right now? Yeah, yeah. I've been building a village on there for the past three months. It has 12 buildings. Well, let's go, Minecraft. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to this. Um, <laughs> yeah. I don't really want to so, pay attention to what's happening. This is kind of depressing. Yeah, that job lasted forever. So this is really Eric's game right now. Um, you know, Snigglorf at this. I, I feel like at this point, Pandarian has kind of snuffed out all of uh, Pandarian or all of Eric or all of Snigglorf's options. He's caught on to the downer uh, in disadvantage. He's caught on to, you know, that was a good. That was a great attack. It was a good tech, and it was a good option to just go for that straight side beat. Because if he, I feel like if he's trying to, I don't know, I feel like the Snickledorf does like, wow. Dropping shield at the very last moment, Pandarian and chuckling to the camera. Yeah, both Snickledorf of them chuckling. Also chuckling. Both chuckles. I just love the word chuckle. It's a good word. Um, I don't know, Pandarian's really just running away with this game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a pretty dominant game for Pandarian. Yeah. Um, it's going to be hard for Snickledorf to recover. Especially now, you're going to be probably two uppers away from death. Yeah. I feel like it's maybe just try and like, regain some composure and just get ready for the next game. Yeah. Like, Snickledorf's going to have to make something back. Like, maybe you can make it back this game. It's hard against this character, but uh, like, if anybody can do it, it's game. Watch it, Snickledorf. Yeah. Uh, He's going for that, that down smash yeah. on ledge, looking for that either roll or neutral getup. Yeah. Uh, Pandaria not giving it to him. Yeah, but no, it's just such a huge deficit. Like, it's, it's a lot. Come back. Yeah. I said that like twice in a row. I'm too tired. Ooh, catching the sandwich butter. That'll be. 
Nice. 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 Okay. I did not expect that to kill, but you know, uh, we'll take that. I feel like that hit like died in, but also like, I don't know, I've seen that move just kind of kill without kill spark several times. Um, but, interesting, we're seeing Battlefield again. Uh, I don't recall how Battlefield went last time they, uh, when they went. <laughs> not, not really good. It didn't go good for Snickler, if I recall. Yeah, it did not go well for Snickler. I think uh, this is just kind of a, a situation where your back's to the wall, you're going to throw whatever you can, see if it sticks. Um, yeah, going to a stage with platforms, it's going to be, you know, we kinda we've kind of talked about this matchup at length now. Um, Stage is gonna be good for uh, for Pandarian really to get out of disadvantage easier, but he hasn't really been having trouble with that. Really, kind of dominating yep. this entire set. No, yeah, he's just catching landings. He's just kind of reading like out. <laughs> he yeah. just knows what Sigler is gonna do. Yeah. Thank gosh that is a nerfed move. What? Oh my gosh, he's just catching his like his ledge options. He's just. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is just absolutely. Like, he's just demolishing. This it. is absolute domination right now. This is. You know, sometimes when you see like uh, it's a it's a blitzkrieg. It's 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 a blitzkrieg. There is just Snigler really. Craig, I miss Craig. Miss Craig. Does Craig. not have an answer. I mean, no. he's able to put tack on some percent, but that entire like first 30 seconds of the game were just totally in Snigler's yeah. favor. Yeah, no, Pandarian yeah. just. I don't know. Snigler is making some good percent back, but uh, I don't know. It's a lot to come back from. But that's, that's the thing with these platforms there. It's gonna really make it hard for Snick to use Chef off of the uh, off of the ledge. Yeah, it allows uh, allows good like landing options or recovery options for Pokemon trainers. Yeah, uh, it allows for good extensions for game watch. It allows. Oh, DBZ! They kill each They're other gonna, with that one. You know, if I'm Snigglerf, I'm taking that. No, I take know? that absolutely. I don't. I never want to lose my stock. But if I'm down 50% to a player as good as Pandarian, I get Darren, body I'm for the first that. 30 seconds of stock, and I managed to bring it back to that. I'm happy. Yeah, I'm taking it. Dash attack from Ivysaur, and we see Ivy. We see Pandarian's Ivysaur probably the strongest uh, of the three uh, Pokemon Trainer characters. But I mean, uh, Pandarian. Well, that's, it's kind of the same story as the last stock. Pandarian attacking on a lot of early damage. Yeah. Whoa. No. Really getting out of there with that down air yeah. to escape Pandarian's spike I mean, attack. Like, I'm just like gonna call it because we haven't talked about it, but Pandarian's conversions these games have been absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. Like he's just every time he gets like even like you a singular hit, you, you can tell he's in the zone. Like you can tell he's in the zone so well. And this is, could be potentially tournament stock for Snickledorf. Yeah. Like, He's really got to turn it up if he wants to bring this to a game five and bring it to his favor. Hey, all I'm saying is that, you know, if he takes the stock, we're just a nine away. Just a nine away. That's not even like he did that as quick as possible. He did that as quick as Pandarian possible. Pandarian just has a great match. Disgusting. And he's going to go. Oh, get try that. To, try yeah. to mess him up a little with the, with the trampoline. Oh, downer. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Okay, this could be. He's going to look for a downer. Nope. He's going to bait it out. Yeah, no. Okay, for this is, position. For this work. is oh gosh. This is your you're fighting a uphill climb here. You're climbing Mount Everest. Yeah. Pandarian just kind of throwing out moves. Just, like I don't even think he like needs this pressure. No. Yeah. I think he's just kind of you know you can afford to throw things out when you're at this high percent. Yeah. Like just kind of hoping that like maybe a flustered opponent just jumps into it. And you know. Runs and, into his and with Charizard now, most things oh, will kill, but the Flare yeah. Blitz will definitely kill. And the uh, Blega Man is just here, just yelling his brains out. No, he isn't. Yeah, but and, uh, Pandarian wins Orbitar. Yeah, Pandarian seals it out.